everybody, Claudia here with Healthy Treasures. Today for dinner I'm going to be making egg salad sandwiches and in order to make that I need some mayonnaise and I'm just going to make my own. I always make my own mayonnaise. Really it only takes about three to five minutes to make it and this way I can be in control of the ingredients that are in there. Um, mayonnaise was created about 150 years ago and it really used some three simple ingredients which are egg yolks, oil, and some seasonings. So, and that's basically what we're going to be using today. So, what you'll need in order to make your own mayonnaise is, well first of all you'll need a mixer, and then you'll need a little bit of mustard. If you don't have mustard, you can use mustard powder. Um, Dijon mustard is the best. Two egg yolks, preferably at room temperature. Um, half of a lime or a lemon. A little bit of onion powder sea salt, um, and your choice of oils. My two favorite ones are extra virgin olive oil and grapeseed oil. You can use just one or the other, but I like to combine them both. Usually the olive oil has kind of a stronger taste and the kids don't really like that, so I usually combine the two. And then of course you'd want a jar that, with a lid so that you can store it in the fridge afterwards. Um, you want to start by placing the two egg yolks in the bowl along with just a little bit of mustard. Just I just give a little squeeze. You can add more mustard if you like the mustard um, flavor, but I just like a little bit. And then I just put in a little bit of onion powder. I'd say maybe an eighth a teaspoon of onion powder and just a little sprinkle of salt. I give a fairly generous squeeze of the lime, just half the lime. And once again, that it just depends on your taste, um, depending on how much lime you want to put in there. And I'm going to mix that up. Okay, now the key thing in order to make a successful mayonnaise is that when you start pouring in your oil, you want to start very, very slowly. Just a tiny little drizzle, step away, let it mix in. Drizzle again, pull away, let it mix again. If you pour in too much too fast, it'll separate and you, your mayonnaise, it won't be mayonnaise. So I'm going to go ahead and start with olive oil and start mixing it slowly. So each time I put a little bit of the oil in, I can see it get mixed in there. And once it's fully mixed in there, I know that I can put a little bit extra oil. And I should say that um, you'll be using about two, two cups of oil total. Um, for me, I always just eyeball it because really it's up to you how much you put in there. Mayonnaise really isn't a complicated sauce to make. So just put however much you'd like in there. But usually you can... I say, I think I usually do about a cup and a half, but you can go up to two cups. I just watch the mayonnaise and once I like the consistency of it, I stop there. So I'm just going to continue putting the olive oil in it. Once I've put in um, enough olive oil, I'm going to switch to the grapeseed oil. Okay, I'm going to call that good. I have this beautiful mayonnaise now that I can use for anything I'd like, sandwiches or my egg salad sandwiches that we're going to be making tonight. Place it in a jar with a lid on it and it stays good in the fridge for up to a week. And if it ever separates while it's in the fridge, you can just pull it out and squeeze a little bit of extra lime in there or you can do a little bit of vinegar and stir it up again and it'll be as good as new. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this um, making of mayonnaise and I hope you feel like you can make it yourself now because really it's so easy to make, it's so quick to make and um, it's just a lot healthier for us compared to most of the mayonnaises that are out there on the store shelves. This mayonnaise recipe makes about two cups of mayonnaise, just so you know, maybe a little over two cups. So enjoy it, have fun with it. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can go to my blog and click like um, on my blog. <laughs>
And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.